We have a date. After months of wrangling and a contempt threat, Hunter Biden is going to sit for a closed door deposition. House Republicans will lead that meeting on February 28th. Hunter Biden's going to have an opportunity to defend his good name. And if he pleads the fifth and, and refuses to answer the questions, I think the American people can assume that this family has been on, uh, on the take for a long time from our enemies around the world. Hunter Biden agreed to the deposition date hours after his so-called sugar brother, Kevin Morris, testified before Comer's committee. It's part of the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Comer said, Kevin Morris may have loaned up to $7 million to Hunter Biden, although he, quote, wasn't exactly clear on the terms of all of that money being given to him. In his opening statement, Kevin Morris said, my only goal was and is to help my friend and client. In this country, there is no prohibition against helping a friend in need with no ulterior motive, despite the incapacity of some to imagine such a thing, end quote. Sean Duffy, co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business and former Wisconsin Republican congressman, great to see you. Before we get started, so of course this started out with, Oh, Republicans leaked what was said behind closed doors to Kevin Morris. That's where Kevin Morris's legal team started today. Uh, just so you know, everything from that meeting, according to James Comer, will be released so we can all read it. Yeah, and by the way, w whether it's a, a, a Democrat House or Republican House, when these behind closed doors meetings happen, whether it was J6 or other Democrat investigations, the members come out and tell the media what happened, what they heard, and right. what the evidence that was presented was that's that, that's really not the issue because you're right, Harris. The the transcript will come out and people can determine for themselves what um, yeah, what the sugar brother was saying. But by the way, a five mil is so so it was he admitted to five million dollars in loans. It could be up to seven million. Mm. Hunter Biden doesn't have a job. Hunter Biden doesn't have income, and this is the game that the Bidens play. They'll call it a loan when really it is a gift. And if you get a gift from someone to the tune of five or seven million dollars. You have to pay taxes on that. If it's a loan, you don't have ah. to pay taxes on it, which is why they call it the loan. And it's a way to get around not having to pay taxes. That's the scheme. And by the way, the Sugar Brother has made three trips to the White House. Also, the play that uh, the Bidens make, which is give me money and then you get access. That's what's happening with Morris here, Kevin uh, Morris. All right. So I want to Same read game. this quote then from Kevin Morris's opening statement, because that's critical what you just said. He said, I did not and do not have any expectations of receiving anything from Hunter's father or the Biden administration in exchange for helping Hunter. In other words, he knew he was giving him money. And what you're saying is if the money is a gift, you got to pay taxes on that. If, if it's a payback, I guess a loan, then you pay it back. Well, I, I think what and he's he referring doesn't to have is I didn't expect any, any political favors. I didn't want anything politically from the Bidens. There was not a favor that I was going to get in in exchange for the loan. But any loan that's made, uh, Harris, has to be repaid. Uh, or it's not a loan. It's a gift. Right. You pay taxes on that. So, again, I think they're, they're, they're splitting hairs. And, by the way, Hunter Biden, again, has no income. The sugar brother, Kevin Morris, also bought artwork from Hunter Biden to the tune of $875,000. Wow. So this is a really murky story. Uh -huh. um, and more than likely, if, if Joe Biden doesn't win the election, these monies will not have to be repaid until sometime after the 2024 election. And again, this is, this is the shady business dealings that the Bidens do. And I think the smell test, no one looks at it and goes, this is on the up and up. We, we think this is a yeah. fair honorable deal because you don't you don't lend money to people that can't pay it back um, rich people don't lend five seven million dollars to people that can't pay it back so it, it begs the question what are you Look, what are you getting in exchange for the cash that's given I, I'm catching politics? I'm picking up something else you're putting down I, I thought the White House had said that nobody knew who the identities of these art buyers were going to be uh, right. we just learned of at least one we, we we knew that there might be others yesterday because We've already heard that maybe that rule wasn't in place when the artwork was first being sold. I mean, we don't know all of it yet, but, but we know of this guy and that he bought artwork. I mean, it, it's the lies. But, but here's this. This is the same administration that will tell you the border is secure or that, you know, agents whipped migrants. I mean, the lies. And that come all from of this it White is House about our national security. 
All of it is about our national security. Uh, uh, because if the son uh, is doing absolutely. things that open his dad up to extortion and make him vulnerable to his political enemies, all of this is a problem right. for the country. The border, the lies about what Hunter Biden was doing, all of it. All right, let's get to this. The Georgia District Attorney. Which is why we have right to know. Yes, exactly. Uh, the Georgia DA is investigating former President Donald Trump for alleged election interference and is now under investigation herself. The judge overseeing that case against Trump has ordered Fonnie Willis to appear at a televised hearing February 15th. And the judge will hear evidence on her alleged romantic affair with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. He is the attorney she hired to lead the entire Trump case, despite his glaring lack of resume experience. Glaring. Those accusations exposed through a motion by one of Trump's co-defendants alleging conflict of interest and misuse of public funds. Criminal defense attorney Phil Holloway with this. If these allegations are true, could lead to a whole host of things that the DA doesn't want to happen. She could be removed from the case. She could be held to have a conflict of interest. The case could potentially be dismissed if it's so structurally unsound that it amounts to a violation of due process. Wow, taxpayers' money being spent to the tune of $650,000 for a man who Fox Research has found has never prosecuted a felony case? Listen, Harris, I was a prosecutor for 10 years. You want the best prosecutors with the most experience to take on the highest profile case in your state in probably decades, if not ever. But you hire Wade, um, who doesn't have the experience. You pay him more than other uh, special prosecutors mm -hmm. would be paid. The whole thing smells to high heaven. It's interesting that Fannie Willis, she hasn't actually denied the sexual relationship. Um, with Wade. She's called, she's called racism. She's said a number of different things. Donald Trump's just trying to get out of these charges, mm -hmm. but has never denied it. This is getting really murky and mucky as well. And the, and the problem here is for Fannie Willis is if she's removed from the, from the case, she loses the stardom. She's been, she's been sung as a hero by the Democrat media. They love her for going after Trump. If she's not part of this case, she loses that cachet. She wants to stay on this case. And by the way, if you have a different prosecutor, who takes a fairer look at the facts, they may come to a far different conclusion than oh, Fannie Willis and decide this does not have merit. This will be this will be dismissed with prejudice where it can't come back. Fannie doesn't want that to happen. She wants this case to go forward because I believe she has a political agenda in foot. Well, as much as she talked about it uh, previous to this case, I mean, it, it's it's a mess for her. Boy, I tell you, her career is on the yes. line. And depending on how much she built from taxpayers, maybe her freedom is on the line. That's right. We will watch. That's right. Sean Duffy, thank her. you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.